Hello and thank you for joining me in this tutorial of how to design pipelines in Civil CAD. The first thing we need to do is import topography. I already did it. So for those who don't know how to import topography, please return to the first tutorial called Using Projects and Coordinates. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to design sewage, drainage and water supply. To create pipelines, we'll go to the Pipelines menu. Everything happens at this menu. The first thing we need to do is go to Pipeline List, like this. And here we need to define the pipelines we want, what we see here. Here we have all the types of pipelines, sewage, drainage, water supply and cables. We can't change anything here except of the units. Right now we're using millimeters, but we can switch it to centimeters or inches. I will leave it in millimeters. Here I have my pipeline list. The default of the first pipeline is sewage with round profile. I will keep it and I will add two more pipelines. Pipeline number two, the type is water supply and the profile is always round. And pipeline number three, the type is drainage. And here I have two options. It could be rectangular or round. I will choose the round profile. After we define the names of the pipelines, we will press OK. The next step after pipeline list is pipeline layout. We will define the pipeline on the drawing. So we'll go to pipelines, layout. Here we can see the pipeline number one and the type is sewage. Here we can switch between the different types of pipelines. Pipeline number two, water supply and pipeline number three, drainage. It's really important to pay attention that you are working on the right pipeline. I will go back to pipeline number one. We can draw the pipeline in two different ways or with pick or we'll draw a polyline and then select it. I will use the first way. I'll choose pick and I will start drawing my pipeline. Each step I'm making, I'm creating a manhole. You can see it on the right side. After I finished creating my pipeline, I will press enter. Each manhole will be added to the design coordinates table at the bottom. You can see it right here. Here on the right side, we can see our manholes and the stations. Station is the distance of each manhole from the beginning. For example, manhole number one will always be zero because it's the first point. Manhole number two is 77 meters away from manhole number one. Manhole three is 144 meters from the first point, etc. The last point, manhole five, is 295 meters. This is the length of the pipeline. Always the last manhole will show us the length of the whole pipeline. Now we'll press apply and our line will receive thickness and a few more things. Great, we received our pipeline. Let's see what we have here. First of all, if I'll touch my pipeline, I can see that the layer is sewage layout. This is civil cut layer. If we go to our manholes, we can see right here the number of the manhole. This is manhole 4. The line is line number 1. And this is the profile, round profile. The next pipeline is water supply. Now we'll draw the water supply pipeline in the second way. I will draw a polyline and after I finish the drawing it, I will select it. Let's see how it happens. Ah, something very important that I forgot. We need to switch between the different pipelines, as I said before. So now I'll go from pipeline number one to pipeline number two. I'll press on the polyline and I'll start drawing.
Now I will press enter, I will press select, and I'll choose the polyline. I'll press enter, and I can see my manholes right here, pipeline number two. The display of water supply is different. Now we can press apply and see the difference. Okay, so what do we see here? We can see the blocks with information at each of the stops. The information inside is name of the pipeline, X, Y, we have turn, which turn is it, angle of turn, and station. Besides that, pipeline of water divided every 20 meters, and we can see the length of each segment between the manholes. Let's see, so the length right here in this segment is 29.68 meters. And here we can see that each 20 meters I have a mark. Something else that's really important is the diameter. Right now it's zero because I didn't define it yet. But as soon as I define the diameter, I can see it here. The last pipeline I want to create is drainage. I will change to pipeline number three and I will draw the pipeline with pick. I'll press enter and apply. We can see that this pipeline is different as well. The layer is drainage layout. And now I can see the manholes as well, number of the manhole, line number three. And again, the profile here is round because I chose round at the pipeline list. Okay, that's it. We finished with pipeline layout. Now we can press close and continue. The next step is designing the section. We'll go to pipelines, sections. A section window will open for us. And we can see right here in the middle that we have our drawing area. On the right side, we can see the pipeline number Right now, I'm on pipeline number three. I will switch to pipeline number one. We have two tables below. One is for manholes details, only place we have information so far. Number of manholes, stations, and distance. Manholes, station, distance. Here we have the table of existing situation along the pipeline. We will press apply and the existing table will fill up and we will receive a section of our existing situation. Great, now we can see that our existing table is completely full. Okay, now what kind of information we have in the manholes details table? Let's see. Here the IL stands for invert level. Invert level, it's the absolute height of the pipeline. Drop, I will explain later. Depth, it's the depth of the pipeline. Now let's demonstrate a short design scenario. I'll start by going to the first manhole right here and I will define that this manhole start in the depth of one and a half meter. So here I'll enter one and a half meter and I'll press enter. When I press enter the invert level automatically calculated. From this point I want to go down at 1% till the end. So I'll mark all the rows in slope and I'll press the number one and enter. Once I entered number one, the system automatically calculated the invert level and the depth along the pipe. I'll press apply right here and we will see the results. So what we can see right here, here we have the invert levels, the depth and the slope. And we have all the data on the drawing itself. Now I want to insert the diameter of the pipe. 
This is a sewage pipeline, and since I'm using millimeters, I will insert diameter of 400 millimeters. We press apply, and now we can see the change in the pipeline according to the diameter we inserted. Now I want to create a drop. A drop will mark the difference between the invert level at the entrance to the manhole and the invert level at the exit from the manhole. I'll go to manhole number 3, this manhole, and this manhole number 3, and in the drop I'll insert 0 0.5 meters. Now I can press apply, and immediately we will see the difference of the invert level at the entrance and the invert level at the exit from the manhole. Now I want to add the manhole size. We will do it through here. Here we will define the size of the manhole itself. If I want, I can use this to calculate it automatically. If I press it, you can see that the system uses some predefined criteria to automatically fill in the size. Right here. The star means it's round, as we chose at the pipeline list. If I'm unhappy with this automatic calculation and I want to change the size manhole, I can just change it manually. So right in here, I want to switch it from 100 to 125. The number here is in centimeters. So now I can overwrite this and press apply. And now we can see the diameter on the drawing itself right here. Oh. See right here, I don't have the diameter mark. This is because I forgot the little star right here. So I will enter it. 125. I'll press apply. And now I have the mark of the diameter, 125. The last thing I want to show you is the material. I can go to the material right here. And choose PVC. When I press apply, right here, we can see that our pipeline is PVC. This is the material. That's it for pipeline number one. In the same method, I will create pipeline number three. Let's go to pipeline number three. I can see right here on the top that this the pipeline is drainage. Here in the drainage, we'll start with depth of one and a half meter. So I'll go to depth. I'll mark all the rows and I'll enter one and a half meter. Enter. As we saw before, automatically all the invert levels and the slope are calculated. Here in the slope, I want to change it to minus one and a half percent. Why minus? Because the pipeline is going down. I'll press enter and I'll press apply and we see what I created. Okay, great. Now again, we will insert the diameter. Here for the drainage pipeline, I'll insert 500 millimeters. And now we see how it looks. Now I'll define the size of the manhole. This time I won't use the automatic option. I'll insert by myself 150 150. I'll press enter and apply and now I can see the diameter as well. That's it for section number three for pipeline drainage and we'll go to, to pipeline number two, the water supply. I'll press apply and I'll receive the existing situation of the ground level. This pipeline I want to plan in a different way. I'll go to options and here I will define my stations. So. I'll choose <coughs> every IP, every 20 meters, I'll press OK, and now I received my stations. After we define the stations, we need to define the elevations. In water supply, we don't get stations from the layout automatically, because water supply we plan every 20 meters, or every distance we defined. So basically, when we defined every IP every 20 meters, the civil cut set for us the stations. Now I can proceed and continue planning. I'll go to depth and I'll insert one and a half meter and I'll press OK. Here in the diameter, 
I will enter 400 millimeters. Now I want to press apply and see the pipeline I created. That's it, great. Now when we finished creating all our pipelines, we'll close the sections part and go to pipeline layout. Here I can press apply and we will see all our data on the layout. We can see that each manhole has a size, height, invert level at the entrance and at the exit, and also a top level. Between the pipes, we can see all the rest of the data. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.